the reacts. Ooh, Josh Hart. So it's a gritty win, man, but I, I got to start with Josh Hart because the amount of sacrifice that it's taken for him to really be a solid member of this team, it's a lot, bro. We got to give him a lot of credit, man. Number one, having to play the backup four at one point. Then, then you know, struggled with a shot. Shot came back. Now Julius is gone. He's got a play make on top of being the best rebounding guard in the league. Now he's got a play make. And now he's got to hit shots with Brunson out. And so 19 he, boards tonight. 19 board triple double for Josh Hart. He's back to being the heart that we got last year, man. This was the heart where you, when he came into this team, you're like, yo, we got a steal here. And he, you could even say he's been even better. 13 mm. points, 19 rebounds, 10 assists, 3 for 6 from downtown. This is why Josh Hart, it, it, he's, he's born to wear this jersey, man. He's a cardiac Nick. You can, you can live with the erratic shots. <laughs> you can live with the erratic shots because he comes to work every day. And tonight was no different. I'm at a point where I, uh, you have to get to a point with him where can you even get upset at his off nights in terms of offensively? Like, why would we even hold that against him? Yeah. And the reason I'm saying that is now if he goes into a little bit of his back to 20 minutes, 22 minutes roll when everyone's back, then we analyze a little bit differently because then his 22 minutes need to be very, very, very impactful. But when the guy is playing, CP and Alex, 45 minutes, 47 minutes, every game, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to get upset at him because he missed six, seven shots. Like, you're, we're asking him to do more. And, and we've seen in the past with previous Knicks, Nerlens Noel, a prime example, right? Some other role players that we've had in the past, even this year, where yeah. even pressures are true a little bit lately where you ask a player that is – used to playing a certain role in a certain amount of minutes, and now you're asking him to do much more. Sometimes when those players get exposed to that type of exposure, they flame out or they don't play as well. And Josh Hart is not only playing, you know, 40-something minutes, but he's also contributing. He's taking his game minutes. to another level. And you don't get that from players of his caliber because, you know, he is a role player. Role players don't play that. They don't play bet. They don't give you 19 rebounds because you're giving them more minutes. They can give yeah. you a little bit more stats, but not 19 rebounds when he's facing two seven footers and Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. Albeit, I, I, I understand that they're more on the soft side, but he's six four. Yeah. So yeah, he he and not only that. Notice when like now with Al Brunson. He handles the ball a little bit, a little bit more. Even with Deuce on the floor, he's bringing the ball up a little bit more. He's yeah. sometimes even trying to create offense, like he's trying to do it all. Trying to do I it all. I think he gets, he catches a lot of heat from the from the fan base. Um, but how? I mean, this guy is New York, man. He he he's grit. He gives it everything that he has. And I'm actually hoping he's one of the players why I want everyone to get back healthy so he can get into his role. And I'm sure he's made jokes about it, but he's even trying to, you know, get a little bit more of a rest. Yeah. But for now, he's going to be a warrior. You can understand why there was like a little bit of a backlash at the beginning of the season because of his early play. I mean, it was just log jammed it all over, right? We have Dante who just joined the roster at Grimes quickly. Everybody trying to earn minutes at that guard rotation and I mean, yeah. he even he even expressed that frustration right and now he gets this is the gift that keeps on giving for josh Hart. you're like okay you want more minutes you got it buddy you're going to get 40 plus minutes 45. on a night tonight basis at this point 45 for tonight as cp said but yeah look to what you guys said he's exceeding all expectation at this point i mean you know there was the talk about wanting bruce brown on the team and i thought at the time the only difference that bruce brown would give you is working the pick and roll but Josh Hart's doing the same thing to the same type of execution level as Bruce Brown at this point. So Josh Hart just expanding his game all around. You'll love to see it because, once again, when you get into the playoffs, he's going to be number six, right? You, you know who the starting five is yeah, going to be. he's six. He's number six. And so if you're going to put him out there and you can now retrieve even Julius the who's out there with Brunson the and say, hey. Hang on, hang on. Go ahead. Yeah, that, so now you can say, off. like, yeah. even if you have Brunson and Randall out there who control the rock for most of the time, if you can say, hey, Josh, you can bring up the ball now, let – 
Randall and Brunson play off ball and get into their spots, that changes everything offensively for this team. And now it's just another dynamic that you can add another wrinkle if Tom Thibodeau thinks that way. Yeah. So I like Look, sometimes these injuries, it sucks in the moment, but for all these guys, they're all learning how to play at a different level. Like, as, as I said at the beginning, I mean, the next guy we got to talk about is Dante DiVincenzo because this the guy is just scoring. Ragu. He's just scoring at a Welcome high rate, back, man. man. Welcome back, man. Welcome back.